and every year the sharif and his soldiers as well as the rest of the meccan high society went out to meet the procession and they brought it and it was embroidered in gold and silver thread and the glorious name of god is also woven into it so this is a very grand procession very grand ritual and you can guess the uh, how spiritual and also how expensive the kiss was so the, there were four men who actually planned to steal it and they were able to do so and made off with it on the camel back down the pilgrimage route and when they were discovered it was seen that they made it into a tent and the poor the sick the lepers the madmen basically anyone who had uh, illnesses as soon as they lay down beneath the cloth they were cured of their diseases adayad ee oru kisva mooshtikapadunnundu naala mooshta naala aalkar mooshtikunnundu പക്ഷെ ഇത് സൂര്യസ് നോക്കുമ്പോഴേക്കും കാണാൻ പറ്റിയ ഒരു മിറക്കിളാണ് അതായത് ഈ ഒരു കിസ്വയുടെ അടിയിൽ ആരൊക്കെയാണോ എന്തൊക്കെ ആരോഗ്യ പ്രശ്നം കൊണ്ടുവരുന്നവർ കിടക്കുന്നുണ്ടോ അവർക്കെല്ലാം അപ്പാടെ അസുഖം മാറുന്നു അങ്ങനെ ഒരു വലിയൊരു ആൽ അത്ഭുതം ഇവരെ കാണുന്നുണ്ട് എന്താണ് പക്ഷെ അവർക്ക് ഈ ഒരു മിറക്കിളിൻ്റെ കാര്യം ഈ ഒരു കഥ പുറത്ത് അറിയണമെന്നില്ലായിരുന്നു സോ ദിസ് ഡിസൈഡ് ടു ഹഷ് ഇറ്റ് അപ്പ് സോ എന്താണ് ഈ ഒരു നാല് ആൾക്കാരെ അറസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്തു അവരെ മോഷ്ടാക്കലെന്നും രാജ്യദ്രോഹികളെന്നും മുതൽ ഉത്തി ഇവരെ ബിഹെഡ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ദർ ബോഡീസ് വെ ത്രോൺ ഇൻ ടു എ വെൽ അലോങ് വിത്ത് എ ഗാർബേജ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഹെഡ്സ് വെ സ്റ്റക്ക് ഓൺ സ്പൈക്ക് ഇൻ ദ സ്പോട്ട് വെയർ ദേ ഹാഡ് ബീൻ ആപ്രിഹെൻഡഡ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഹൗ ദി ലെയിൻ ഗോഡ് ദി നെയിം ഓഫ് ലെയിൻ ഓഫ് മെനി ഹെഡ് ആൻഡ് ദി there is also a mention of a woman who used to walk barefoot from mecca every day to sit beside the heads and mourn them so again no one knows the identity of this lady who the uh, woman is and her background but they just assume she must be one of the lovers of the men who were killed or maybe someone uh, lunatic because she kept on whispering uh, mourning and grieving and sometimes she would uh, talk with the head and some all the while she comes every day and wait till the uh, sunset to go back home and then they never know who the lady is so that is one another mysterious story but this is the story behind the lane of many head and now we see the uh, lane uh, narrating the story that is depicted in the novel that is about the uh, body that was found on the place again even it doesn't know whether it is aza or aisha but it knows everyone in the place aa oru endana yan parney idu oru character aite oru main character aite thane aanu ivada parneyirikkunnathu so ellavarey ariyam aa oru sthalathu thamasikkina ellavareyum kurichu meer lane of many heads inna nalla oru idea undu aa pakshe ee oru body arde aanu aa oru enda nammada main character nu polum manasilagunnilla but he makes all these mentions of uh, yusuf the history nerd he was actually a history nerd but unfortunately he uh, went lunatic and we have another character muaz who was being trained to take over from his aged father as a prayer leader at the mosque in the meanwhile he decided to kill time by helping out the, the photography studio so it was the muaz uh, who actually discovers the body in the first place and then we have the khalil who like i said before he is a horrible character who actually suspended police uh, sorry pilot license and rejection letter from every single private airline and we also have someone called the unex goat who is the adopted son of al ashi the cook 
who is said to gather human limb to practice his pervasion so basically these are the people who actually deserve to have their head on spike because of uh, their behavior but unfortunately it is not these kind of people are roaming around freely and like i said this extract is uh, from the novel itself where the body is first discovered by moas the photographer's apprentice and a depiction of how everyone wants to cover the body but no one wants to claim it at the same time even azas father is saying uh, it could not be his daughter because she never have a body like this she could never be naked like this again he is not thinking about his do- daughter actually he is thinking about the shame it would that would come upon his family you know എങ്ങാനും ഇത് അസയുടെ ബോഡി തന്നെയാണെങ്കിൽ അതിൻ്റെ അപമാനം വരുന്ന ആ ഒരു അപമാനത്തെ കുറിച്ചാണ് കൂടുതലും ഷെയ്ഖ് മുസഹിം ആലോചിക്കുന്നത് സോ അൺഫോർച്ചുനേറ്റ്ലി ദ ബോഡി ഈസ് ലേബൽഡ് ആസ് അൺനോൺ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് റിമെയിൻസ് അൺനോൺ ടിൽ ദി എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദി നോവൽ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ദ ഗ്രേറ്റസ്റ്റ് മിസ്ട്രി ഓഫ് ദി നോവൽ and uh, this is the repetition of all the information that we have been discussing and so that's the end of the video i think because uh, this is a very complex novel like i said and i hope i did justice by discussing the main points and the main plot and the main characters and probably uh we'll be asked questions like the status of women in the novel depicted in the novel or the characters mainly the main characters that is the detective aza aisha yusuf and basically the patriarchy and the gender division that we see in the novel that is the most what can i say glaring fact in the novel so uh that's the end of the novel i hope this was somewhat uh, understandable and helpful so if you have any other thing to share any more points to share or interpretations please do so in the comment section that will be really appreciated and i'll see you in the next video So till then take care thank you